stick with Kyle? Okay. We are sticking with Kyle. Yes. Same starting lineup. stretch of time where there was a uh, wall and when Nene was in the mix, uh, you just take their second unit, Andre Miller, Martel Webster, Al Harrington, Drew Gooden, Bradley Beal. Uh, so those are guys who, who know how to play the game of basketball. So have been tested on the road and, and uh, I think John's been in this league long enough to, to win you know, at home and on the road. Moe's been really consistent lately, but he had a, had a dip the other night. What, what did you see from him the other night? Uh, that's where, you know, you, you just, that's where we talk about incremental gains right there. Uh, it's a game-to-game -game basis, uh, putting you know, two games together, three games together. Uh, you want to continue to build on that, and, and where it's four, five, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. 20, and uh, you know exactly what you're going to get from a player uh, every night. So that continues to be the goal, and um, how you respond when you don't play as well as you want to is also a challenge. I know you don't like to compare players, and you know, we, we try to avoid that, but a guy like Trevor Ariza, can, can you make a point to Mo that this could be kind of a similar game, go inside and out, a tenacious defender, or, or do what you make that sort of a comparison? Well, you know, Dante, I wouldn't make the comparison, but uh, you know, if you, you stack their numbers up, and uh, career-wise you look at it, there's some resemblance. Uh, the way Trevor came into the league, a guy who uh, uh, defensive minded, long, um, got in the league and, and added his ability to shoot the basketball. He's a, uh, shooting extremely well this year. But his length, his ability to, to get out and transition, uh, is what kept him in his league for a long time. Coach, what are the most important things that the team can do when you guys uh, have the lead, to, to protect that lead in the I think overall you, you you try not to you know think about are you winning are you losing uh, you, you try to play that possession and uh, I think that's the most important thing is um, then it becomes habit of you know, not looking at the scoreboard but just doing my responsibility on that play tough to do I, indeed it is uh, but that's where you want to get to uh, because then when, when you can do that you can be down in the game and not panic. You can be up in the game and not relax. Uh, and so that's the key is just doing your responsibility uh, every possession. Jeff Thurner and Daryl tonight, I'm sure you have good stories from playing with him just a year. His energy was a very infectious one. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and it wasn't just the chocolate and, and, and the coffee and, <laughs> and the sugar uh, before games. It was uh, he genuinely loved playing the game of basketball. Competitive guy. Love practicing with him, against him. Uh, always get a chance to speak to him when we play Dallas. Always rooting for him. And uh, big fan. Have you seen a guy that appreciated what he had more than Darryl? I mean, what he came from to get to the league and the appreciation he had for playing at this level? Well, I mean, his story should be told to a lot of people. Just uh, how he got in the league, his route, uh, where he played at before he got into the league how you survived in this league. Uh, should be one of those 30 for 30s on there. <laughs> <laughs> make a heck of a book. <laughs> the guy was working at a textile mill. Huh? Are you yeah. kidding me? Right into the league. survive is, is how they got to that position and uh, whether it's keeping a chip on your shoulder, whether it's appreciating what you have um, you know, a less sense of entitlement I think that helps along the way I mean, our, our Daryl lives
is, is Ronnie Price. I think so. He wears the same number. I just had a fan on Twitter ask that same question. Who is does he wear the same Armstrong? number? He sure does. Number 10. Man. How about that? And the fan just asked, who would be the Daryl today? And I was thinking, might be Ronnie. And you Ronnie Price. You'd say so? What, 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 what? When he plays, he plays smart. Just where, just you talk about drafting position. You talk about uh, what school he went to. Um, uh, what year this is for Ronnie, but they're starting to add up and figuring out how to stay in this league. Right. Being a you're talking about unselfish teammate. Daryl was an extremely unselfish teammate. He could go to anybody in the locker room uh, at the time, whether it was Tracy, uh, whether it was uh, Andrew DeClerc, it didn't matter who you, where you were from, be able to talk to you, uh, and Ronnie's the same way. Hey, Coach, what are you looking for out of your team these last uh, 16 games? I think the biggest thing is uh, just improvement. You know, even when we go into practice, uh, if I pick one thing, two things for that practice that we want to get better at, uh, th that's really the goal, uh, to try to keep it that simple, not to look at, okay, uh, let's be uh, statistically better in this area, this area, just overall, let's be a better basketball team every time we step out on the floor. I want to be better tonight, and so hopefully we are. We are. Uh, whether that's having a better second quarter, uh, whether that's rebounding the basketball. But we've shown strides, whether we've taken care of the basketball, eight turnovers last game. Uh, we just want to continue to improve overall as a team. What do you guys have to do to rebound as a team better? You're 0-31 when you've been out-rebounded this season. Well, a lot of times rebounding uh, is a combination of size, uh, a combination of just sheer want, you know, we've had different lineups, and uh, I think uh, giving, it, giving uh, Kyle a chance to, to be in the starting lineup uh, gives us a chance to see if we had two bigs, uh, how does that affect our, our rebounding. So uh, we'll get a good uh, look at Kyle and see if that helps. All right. Thank you.